Good morning, everyone. I'm Betsy Trevina. I am the lead of Children's Ministries here at St. Andrews. Um, and I, it's time for children's message. So if any, any kiddos want to come up, I know we have a few. Awesome. Today we're going to meet around this thingy. This thingy, my Bob. All right. So just come on over here. All right. Kevin, come on up, bud. Come, come with Max. It does look like the perfect little bench for you, doesn't it? Yeah, you could sit there. Yeah, Max can sit there too. So today is a super special day. We, we joined, uh, welcomed in some new members today, but we're also doing something else. Does anybody know what that is? Yeah. Baptism. Baptism. You're close. You're super close. Affirmation of baptism. Affirmation is kind of a big word, isn't it? What does that mean? Does anybody know? Yeah. I think it's knowing that God is your like people that are celebrating people who've gotten done with youth group. Kind of, yeah. Like accepting when we affirm something, it's kind of like confirming something like, you know, if I say, your name's Nora, right? And then you would affirm to me, yeah, it is. That's correct. Okay, so it's saying, yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, they're getting confirmed, which is also known as affirmation of baptism. So in our church, we usually get baptized as babies. We just saw one little baby who's going to get baptized next week. And we baptize with water here just like that. Um, and we do that as babies usually here in this church. Um, some people do wait till they get older to get baptized. Jesus was an adult when he got baptized. And when babies get baptized, their parents or grown-ups and the congregation, that's all these people here, look at how many people there are. Holy moly. They promise, they make some promises. They make some promises to help them live a Christian life and to be followers of Jesus. Or if they wait to be baptized, then they make those promises on their own. So when we baptize, we use water. Right here, you can feel it. It's okay. As a symbol. Maybe I should splash you all. No? <laughs> um, what kinds of things do we as people need water for? Anybody have an idea? Yeah? Drinking, showering. showering, that's a really good one, yeah. Taking a bath. Grace. Taking oh. a bath. Tyler, did you have one? Uh, doing water fights. Doing water fights to have fun, yeah, Max. Hydration, yeah, if we, we can't live without water. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. And um, so we use the water to sim in baptism to I symbolize how God, oh, these girls, yeah, how God keeps us alive. God gives us life, okay, and that we're washed clean of sin. So just like you were saying, how we shower and things like that, that God, that our sins are washed away and that God gives us light, life. So these three teenagers, you see them up here in the white, they've attended Sunday school and they've gone to confirmation classes to learn all about being a good about being a Christian and who God and Jesus are, and so um, you don't want to join something without knowing about it first, right? If I was like, "Oh, there, there's a new club over there. You want to join it?" You'd probably have some questions first, wouldn't you? Like, what's the club, or what are we doing, right? What if it's a golfing club and you hate golfing? Exactly. So baptism and, and, and confirmation, they learn these things, okay? And now today, baptism and confirmation come down to us saying yes to God. Kind of like when your mom or dad says, I love you, to you, what do you usually say back to them? I love you too, exactly. God loves us always and forever. Baptism and confirmation, it's our turn to officially say I love you, God. I love you too, buddy. And I will follow you. So I want you to listen carefully to the promises that these kids are going to make today. Because someday, if you choose to, you're going to get confirmed as well. 
This is far from the end of their learning journey, though, okay, when it comes to God and faith. Everybody continues to learn about God and what God wants for us and what we can do for others. Even me, even Pastor Dave, even everybody here today, we're still learning, always and forever. So this is only a part of their faith journey, Kev. It's only a little bit. That's why we call it a journey, because it's a long time, okay? And we'll still be seeing them here at church. So don't worry. This isn't the last time you're going to see these guys. And they're pretty cool kids. So they're part of our faith family who we love, and they're not going away, all right? When you see them around here at church, feel free to say, hey, Lucy, hey, we're glad you're here today, all right? You can still hang out with them and everything. So let's pray. Let's put our hands in towards the baptismal font. Dear God, thank you for this special group of teens who will be saying yes to you today. Keep guiding them on their faith journey. Remind them they are loved, not only by you, but by all of us as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.